Morning guys. <coughs> the parcel has arrived for me this morning. By uh, Parcel Force 48. So uh, I know what it is. But uh, while this camera was... <coughs> or while I was dumping video from this camera to the computer, I was eager to open it, but uh, I held off. I was watching... Uh, <coughs> Pardon me. A video from um, B Bishop P B Bishop PCM's well. Get my lips nice and moist so I can actually talk. When well, he's uh, restored that uh, fire engine themed antique fan. Uh, so let's get the box open, shall we? got enough room to set the camera down so you can see what uh, you can hear. <laughs> Can't cut straight to save my life. That side. And then down that side. We should... Oops. Layers of boxer here. <laughs> oh, well, someone's used the same trick I use when I pack a box. Carrier bags. <laughs> That's my trick. Right at the bottom. Mm. I don't think they put any padding underneath it. There's something under there. There's some, uh, oh yeah, there is a sort of some padding, some sort of cardboard and stuff. Let's just put you down there for a minute. I'll get the bag out. Put the box there. Nice view of my nice cheap tech set and mouse. I don't like to buy expensive mice because I have a habit of breaking them. <laughs> have a little look. Yeah. Oh, I think this has got the same battery problem my other one's got. Ooh, that does look good. Yeah, it has. The battery won't stay in. Mine. It's arrived. LTE Elite. Oh, that's a 440. Wow, that's reflective. I can actually see it better through the camera than I can looking directly at it. Mm. It's all complete. I think I should grab a power lead from somewhere and uh, turn it on. Uh, I don't think I can actually do what I originally planned to do. Oh, this one's got a cover down here for the low voltage input. Ow! Just nip my finger on the that This has got the same battery issue that my other one's got. And the fluffy driver's in better condition on this. It'll be interesting to know if it does work. But uh, to find that out, I need a cable. Need a cable. Where's the cable box? Here's the cable box. Wedged under here. Uh, I think I may need to put a stronger board in there. Not that shitty old chipboard stuff. But that was in here when I moved in. No. I know I've got the cable I need in here. There it is. And what? I've got several of all sorts of different types of power cable. Right. I'll give you a nice seat on top of the laptop. 
no idea if it does actually power up or do anything. Uh, it was um, sold as untested, so I've got to do the testing, so to speak. Put the power cable plugged in. I just need some power. There's a free socket in my computer socket under the desk. There was no button next to it yet. Okay. The laptop appears to do something. There's a light on at least. Yep. <laughs> smashed screen, but uh, it is actually doing something. You can just see some writing up in this corner, I'm not sure. I'll just press the one. Oh, it's got one. Oh! It works! It does actually work! Hmm. Now you see, my original plan was to change the screen in this, because obviously it is smashed. But I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. Let's just uh, grab the other one when I remember where I tucked it. Underneath the car station, that's where I took it. <laughs> that's the difference. It's a 475, this one. Let's see. Ow, off my finger. New clock settings. lot of difference case wise is there? I'm just looking at the bezels. I think I could, you know, I think I could actually take this whole bezel and screen out and put it in here and have a decent working laptop without the need to uh, rip the hard drive out of there because the plastics on this one is in a heck of a lot better condition than uh, this one. But apart from the screen size, I can't see any difference. You know, if you look at the front down the bottom here, it's all the same, all the lights here are the same, floppy drives in the same position, battery compartment and hard drive compartments are in the same position, keyboard layout is exactly the same, all the other necessary buttons and lights up the top here are all the same. Mouse and everything is all the same. It's just the screen. That is pretty much the only difference. It's got a damaged screen. And that wasn't bad. Five pound. Yeah. Theoretically, it looks like I can, can swap the screen and bezel. I will give the bezel on this one a clean before I put it on. There's some dirt near and dirt up there. But I won't need to change the mouse button, so... Depending on screen connections... ...on the inside will depend on whether this is... ...it's going to be actually uh, possible. It's exactly the same at the back here as well. It is completely... Identical. I very much 
doubt I'd be able to find a screen for this one. So I've got to hope that this one and the bezel will swap straight onto this one. Which is my, uh, my plan. It's a shame, really. I'd like to have gotten both in good working order. But, uh, part of me doesn't see the point as they're both pretty much identical laptops uh, apart from the screen size. So, technically, I'm going to be upgrading this one with a bigger screen. I hope. <laughs> That's the plan. Um, yeah, I may make a video on that. I don't see why not. You know, if you didn't know the numbers to look at the front here, you'd say they are both identical. This one's got a broken floppy drive as well. It seems like the... I don't know if it's broken, but the dust cover is certainly... You know, the little plastic door that goes over the front there is broken. So, I think this one will be the best bet. Because uh, you can't charge the floppy drives on this. Well, not that I can see, they do look like they're um, permanently fixed. Which is a bit of a drag. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here and hopefully make a start ripping the screen out of this one. So, uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye bye for now. Good morning, tubers. This is the project. I'm going to attempt to remove the screen from this one and put it in the other laptop which arrived this morning. As the other one is tested and working as per the previous video. So, <sighs> crack on with this one. Pop these little rubber covers out. already lost one on the floor. Don't matter this floor with the other one. I'm not sure what the screws are in here. Ah! That's right, I can't use a flat head on them. Hopefully. Yep. So now we take out one screw. And two screws. Only four screws holding the whole thing on. The other laptop is in the lounge. I'll uh, grab that when I've got the screen out of this one due to lack of room on the worktop. So, I'll move all four screws. I do hope this works. I'll try to gently get the bezel off. lose the screws if I can avoid it. Right. 
three pairs lost to there. It's just on pretty damn well. There we go. There's a screen bezel on that's sitting in the sink for the moment. Let's see, I told you that's scared to keep the cat quiet for a bit. Because I think I've got to take the screen out. Actually before I do that, you know, I'm going to slide this one over here and go and get the other one. I don't want to go through and take the actual screen out just to find it isn't going to work. So, here's the other one. Just take the uh, rubber screw covers off. I just noticed it looks like it's had a sticker or something removed from this. Right. The four rubber covers out, four screws. Oops. was already loose. Last screw. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bottom is off already. Let's uh, just ping it off. Oh, I see. Someone, someone has had a go at this before, and uh, not put the screen hinge screws back in. Well, in answer to the question. I do believe it will. No, it won't. Because these uh, the screen boards are actually different. Hmm. Well, I suppose it might if I change the screen um, board as well. Trackball and mouse is all the same. That's 
some of my crust run of the screw. No, it won't work. I'll just send something else, I'll stop it from working. So, I'm going to have to do it the other way. Screw this one back together. As I am um, fixing post here, that's different. I'm just 
Well, this will come up. I'm not a perfectionist, I just want it to be cleaner than it was. There's some tough marks on there, which I think are going to be a pain to get off anyway. Thank you. 
，我那看着是都心很累啊。What angle me way now? Okay, the power cable should still be down here somewhere. I'll get behind it anyway to put the power lead in. Somewhere. Look. Like that. This one's powered on automatically as well for some reason. No wonder I couldn't see the screen, it was dimmed out. Are we booting? We're doing a lot of beefing, but are we booting? Are we going to boot? Starting Windows 95. There we go. Uh, I've got a floppy disk drive because I've still got that broken bit on it, but uh, I actually have another working laptop. I just noticed that's pulsating on camera. Hey. Gonna take some getting used to. Long time to boot. A long time to boot. It's not very bright even with the I haven't brightness up full. Have we done loading? If we can find out what the uh, processor and stuff is on this, yeah, it's going to take some real getting used to with that wheel, ball wheel on here. Moves pretty well though, that mouse cursor. I doubt this has got a lot, this is slow. Unbelievably slow. <laughs> Four megabytes of RAM. Bloody hell. That is low. Doesn't tell me what the processor is, though. No wonder it's taken so loud, long. So loud. So long to boot up.
background show. That's better. Bit of customization, why not? Here is actually broken. Yep, it is a working. Yep. Caps lock light works. Unlock works. Yep. Yep, she's working. Or clicking away doing something. It's finally stopped. Well, it's taken it taken up long enough. Took it up long enough. That's a new one. Anything in the briefcase? Nope. Good. Just make sure there's no personal data on the hard drive that the previous owner may have left on there. Megabytes the hard drive is. 
HP print was installed. I wonder if there's any games on this. I've got CD player installed. I don't know why, because there's no CD run drive on either of them. Microsoft Word and Excel written on, um, installed on this. Microsoft Excel 97. keep wanting to go down here for a touchpad mouse and there isn't one. Hey, it's Mr. Paperclip! You know, I've never used a computer and actually seen the paperclip until now. Is that weird? Spreadsheet. Really. Stupid thing is, it's probably still perfectly usable today. Got my eye. A few other things on uh, eBay because I took the liberty when I can find them. Of um. Downloading last night a copy of uh, Windows Millennium Edition. Don't ask me why, I just felt like at the time and, I want to get hold of it, a copy of uh, Windows 95. And uh, burnt them to disk, so I've got a few things I'm watching on eBay. I'll just uh, bring them up. Um, I'll start that again because this uh, just clicked over from the um, 34 minute mark. So uh, just before we clicked over, I was just saying uh, I've got a few items I'm watching on eBay because I've downloaded a copy of Windows Millennium. And uh, Windows 95. I wanted to uh, try out on some other laptops or desktop computers. I'm not fast which. So I've got a couple of uh, compact armadas which are actually from the same seller. And they end today there. I think they're E500s. I'm not sure. Uh, Push, push, 
is in the way. <laughs> He's in my way of using my mouse. If you go for my hand, I'm going to flick his snout. Get off the mouse cable, you numpty. Yeah. It doesn't actually say. I'm actually tempted to get both. <laughs> Uh, one's tenner, one's a tenner or ten pounds, and one's five pounds. But the postage is actually pretty cheap. It's four ninety-five for postage. Um, no one's bid on them, and like I said, I just want a couple of laptops to play with because I'd like to collect desktops, but I haven't really got the room, and they're a bit more expensive. I mean, here's a completely working Armada E500 here on Windows XP, Pentium 3, 600 megahertz, 64 megabytes of RAM, and that's got Windows XP on it. I don't even think that would be usable, personally. But uh, that's 99 pence start bid. Or I could just get two from the same seller. For um, 15, well, about 20 quid, which I could spare Thursday. Or to go into one of my old computer cases, I'm watching this uh, motherboard. It's a socket 7. Should run either Windows Millennium or, well, actually, it'll probably run Windows 95 as well, actually. I think the motherboard I've got in one of my old cases through there is slightly too new. Look at that for a fan. I've got a um, ATX connector on it, not a board connector. Socket 7, that's an Intel processor, isn't it? And it's got the I.O. shield with it as well. No graphics card slot. I don't even know if you still get AGP graphics cards. I know they existed. Should we actually have a look, see if anything comes up? AGP graphics card. Oh good, I did spell that right. I've got the lamp up there reflecting off my keys. Mm, okay. First one's a PCI. But one PCI. I want a um AGP rather. Oh search AGP not PCI. Ugh, what an idiot. PCI video cards is the one I was thinking of, not bloody AGP. Oh, I've been awake a few hours and I'm still like half asleep. How does that work? When you type in PCI and you get PCIe, which is understandable, I suppose. And there's PCIe as well. It's a lot of bite. 240 quid! Ouch! MSI NVIDIA GTX 970 Gaming. Ooh. Oh, 4 gigabyte DDR5, that's why. <laughs> you don't think so. I'm not a gamer, so that's a little bit overkill for what I need. Let's just click it to auction only and see what comes up. Probably nothing of what I want, but it's all going to be PCIe uh, video cards, not the actual PCI. I bet they'd be extremely hard to get hold of now. Oh my god, there's one. There is one for 99p. <laughs> oh, it's got 8 megabytes on board. Or chip, yeah. ATI Rage XL chipset, VGA, 8 megabytes. Ooh. Shall I buy it just for the hell of it? <laughs> Well, it's got five days left. If I have a little bit of change by then, I'll nab it. 
just as a little historical keepsake. See, most of them are. Uh, you can be a right pain in the ass sometimes, Nemo. Yeah, a little PCIe slot in it. No. Oh no, there's another one. It's a 32 megabyte one. Let's watch that one as well. No, oh, that's AGP. It's a bundle of PCIe uh, graphics cards. PCIe, PCIe. It's not looking one. That's for a think center. I don't want a lot of money for them PCI GPUs. Nope, that is it. <laughs> you dear. Watch item ends in eight hours. Really? Oh, that one does. I thought that had longer on it than that. Three pounds to post. Yeah, that's about right. 291 feedback score, 100% positive feedback. Mm, he seems to be a trusted seller then. He, they've obviously had no negatives or neutrals left. Which is good. It's what I like to see. I don't usually buy from sellers that have anything different to that. Oh, it was this one. Where is it on the camera? That would scroll up a bit. Okay. It's the, this one that's got five days left. <sighs> I still haven't paid for the Mother Mega Drive games yet because he hasn't sent me a uh, invoice for the total request. Uh, eBay has automatically opened an unpaid item case against an item that hasn't been paid for yet. Got a lot of posting to do uh, Thursday as well. It's this one here, the job lot of Maestro toy cars. Still not paid. I've got my eBay set to deal with that automatically. It'll automatically open the case. And if the um, bar doesn't reply, then the case will get automatically closed. And he'll end up with a... Or she... will end up with an unpaid item strike against their account. Well... It would be decent if they'd uh, message me saying, do you mind waiting a week or two for payment, you know? It's not hard to jump online and just send the person you've bought from a quick message. Or even before you commit to buy. As I do. You know, if it was going to be a week before I could pay for an item, I would message the seller and see if they were okay with that. I wouldn't just buy and then hope. <laughs> yeah, but it seems some people don't have that sort of manners. The stupid thing is that's going to tarnish their um, perfect feedback score. Yeah, they've only got a 19 feedback score, but it is 100% positive. But um, it can't be helped if they're not willing to uh, communicate, and that's their fault. 
that means I'm now going to have to go through the hassle of relisting that lot and it may go for a lot less this time round which is a bit of a drag but uh, what can you do I've actually got to take some photos today because I'm going to put both of those on don't really want to sell the BMW on the top there because I do like it Uh, in fact, I probably won't, but I will get rid of the Triumph down there. And the, there's a couple of Corgis on there. I've got to post both sets of pedals, the Volvo Estate, the Tanks, and the Jaguar, and the um, gas bottle regulator. They all sold. Pardon me. <laughs> Uh, uh, what else? I'll post those Lego bits. Where are they? There. They've got to be boxed up and posted. I suppose I can sit and do that this evening, actually. Then it's all ready to go Thursday. Yeah, it's a bit slow with me posting, really. A bit slower than normal, but... Can't be helped. So, anyway, going back to the laptop. It works. It's a shame I couldn't swap screens, but, oh well. Either way, I got a working laptop out of it, so it wasn't a loss, was it? And this is us. Oh, midnight 27, according to the clock on here. Nearly half past midnight. There's bloody light if it is. I don't know if there's actually any point in me changing that. It was 4th of January 1980 as well. We've gone back in time. Surprised that I actually booted if it's that far out. Right? Because I've got my um, IBM ThinkPad under there on Windows 95, which um, won't boot until I've adjusted the clock, um, date and clock because the system battery is dead. So I wouldn't mind betting the system battery is dead on this one. I wonder if I could actually poke something into that floppy drive and. Uh, fix it. Not that it matters too much. Screen hinges are a bit loose. Eh, I might as well have a quick look at the handful of items I've got for sale so far. Ah, I've got three items for sale. And each one's got a watch on them. Nope, I'm still waiting payment for that red Jaguar over there. I thought that had been paid for, but it hasn't. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, pardon me. Got a touch of the windies. Right. I think I'll call it quits for this video then. Bit of a sore finger from a blister I got yesterday from uh, chopping the spokes out of those wheels. There's a lot of them. There was a good couple of wheels there that had rusty um, spoke nipples on, so they wouldn't undo with a screwdriver. So I didn't have mu um, much choice but to cut them with a pair of cutters, and that's given me a little blister on my finger. Uh, this is one of the hubs I wanted out because so I'm going to clean it up and put it on eBay. It's still a good hub. Someone that knows what they're doing with um, building a bike wheel may be able to make use of it. So uh, I'll give that a clean later and stick that on eBay. I've got a couple of bike frames I can stick on eBay. Uh, I don't think there's much, oh yeah, some cars I've got to stick on eBay, so yeah, there's a few things to stick on eBay. Anywho, I'm going to end the video. Thank you for watching. And uh, any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Good, bad, whatever you've got to say, you know where to leave the comments. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. And uh, until the next video, I'll speak to you again soon.